You guys are gonna love this. I have an open design to share. Once again, um, this design is printable, but actually it's printigrated. Okay, I'll explain. I wanted a design that will hold a rotating tool so that we can have the benchtop version of that tool and work uh, holding the workpiece instead of holding the tool. Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. We set this around the grip region of this tool and many other tools it's gonna to work out for. There's a range that you can clamp and then we tighten it down and we can also include, if we want to, a rubber uh, sleeve to help make sure that we don't damage the grip on here. And then it has an M10 bolt coming out here to fasten it to a rigid structure. Printable designs are manufactured by 3D printing, but printigrated designs, I have to use this term because I don't know what else to use, um, is my policy. And that is we're gonna use 3D printers and commercially available parts, off the shelf parts, and the combination that is most effective and most economical to do the design. It just so happens that this design has zero minutes of 3D printing. Everything else is off the shelf. And so here is how you build this model. Um, you're gonna take your truss clamp and then you're gonna add a flat plate and a piece of 3030 aluminum. And then you're gonna add an angle bracket from the aluminum and reinsert the same M10 nut, sorry, screw, that tightens it down to the head of the tool. With this setup, it's just two steps to remove your tool and have it ready for handheld use again. It's the removal of this nut down here, this screw, and the loosening of that guy. Okay, so now we have back to regular configuration. We don't just have a benchtop stone disc now, we have a benchtop cutoff wheel, a benchtop chainsaw, a benchtop this thing, a benchtop that thing. And these truss clamps, they come out to only $7.25 each. The keyword is truss clamp, and they can't raise the price because there's already loads of competition. But if you use the affiliate link in the description, that will help me keep on making free designs. And if I can find one person to help me model some of these other rigid tools in SolidWorks, that can make this all go a lot faster. We don't need details, we just need simplified models that describe the design intent and the overall geometry. In any case, we're a lot closer to a world of brand new configurations of tools that give us new possibilities and new outcomes. Take care now.